Why am I making the noise? I don't know. Indiana Jones, right? Sorry, Joey. Boom. Godzilla versus King Kong. So I got these boards sent to me by Bear Walker, and he's asking me for the movie release to create something cool. So let's do this in 24 hours, starting now. filmmaking has changed. Filmmakers can now create commercial style content in the comfort of their own home, and this course will show you how. Let this be an invite to the new frontier of filmmaking. Coffee first. Then you have tape. And if this goes well, then some whiskey tonight. All right, so what is the first steps that I usually do when shooting a film of any sort is I do research. And to do research and get inspiration, what am I gonna do? Godzilla versus King Kong, super simple. The first thing I'm noticing is I see clouds, I see the city, I see lightning, I see obviously Godzilla and, and Kong fighting, but the colors that are going right here is like a, a bluish teal versus a reddish orange. And so that is gonna help me a lot in setting up my set design. So I'm gonna keep that, I'm gonna start saving these different photos that I like, and we're gonna use these as inspiration at, once I start building my set. Obviously, when I'm looking at this, I can't build a city in my garage. But what I can do is give you the feeling of a city with different aspects like sound design and with rain and with these colors and a lot of smoke because that's what I'm seeing in a lot of these pictures. So that's the elements that we're gonna bring into this product video and make this thing wild. So now that we've done our research, let's start coming up with ideas. Do you just feel like so from one of my other shoots, we have a bunch of this rock left over. We put it on the table on a black backdrop, and now we're just kind of stylizing it. We're thinking like concrete cracked because King Kong or Godzilla just crushed it. And then we're gonna have the board floating right here, but I just broken up some little pieces of shards. We're trying to get very angular, sharp, aggressive. And so I'm just placing these around and filling in spots. And then we're gonna fill in the rest of the rock. And I think we're gonna be close to ready to go, but we're gonna add a little bit more stuff because we need to add in the smoke. We need to add in the rain, all the elements, maybe some cop uh, light sirens, right? To, because that's what's happening in all this uh, from the Godzilla King Kong movies I've watched from back in the day. So that's what we're doing. Set design. Ta-da. The thing is what we gotta do now is it's always important before you go any farther with all the final details of your set design, lighting and all that stuff, is that we need to look through the camera to make sure if there's any issues. And right now what I'm seeing is, is that we need to get some duvetine and make our backdrop wider because we can see the edges of the wall right now that are not covered by the backdrop and that's just not gonna work. So that's the next step. And always do this, always look through your camera, save yourself some time because nothing's worse than setting everything up and then realizing it's not possible or there's something that you messed up on that you can't go back unless you tear things down. So do this, very important. What we're doing is we're taking these Nanlite Pavo tubes and we're gonna match the colors. So we're gonna do Kong first and the colors with Kong are red. And so we're gonna use these and we're gonna put them around kind of like one of those alien crime scenes where the tubes are just highlighting around the object. And we're just using the nan light. Then we're using a clamp right on the rock right here. To, well, not on the rock, but onto the nan light. And then we're just using some gaff tape to hold her down. Bam. And there we go. You didn't even need the tape? Sometimes you're just too good to use tape. Oh. oh. No, I'll tape it down just for safety. Always tape for safety, because this stuff will save your life. 
I told you coffee, now gaff tape. Mike, 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 Mike. We need a little bit more rock for the edges because we can see the thing and I just want to sell it 100%. We went to the store where I bought this first type of rock, but they're closed unfortunately. And since we only have 24 hours, we got to make do with what we could. So we went to Home Depot and got these rocks, which don't really look like this kind of rock. But what we're doing is I'm taking a hammer, breaking the edges to make them a little bit sharper. And then we're going to spray paint them black because they're only going to be in the corners anyways, which is close enough. And hopefully that works. All right, so we're gonna use this Nanolite for a little bit of like cop lights because you know, there's chaos going on in the city. So you can just set it easily and boom. And now it's gonna create some cool reflections onto the boards and stuff like that. Is this table gonna collapse? No, sturdy tables. Built sturdy. I don't know, there's not an ad for that. I don't even know what these tables are. <laughs> I got them off Amazon. So I'm using this hazer because we want to create atmosphere. Remember, everything's getting destroyed. There's lightning and stuff like that. There's buildings being crumbled. So we're just getting a little bit of smoke in here, making it eerie and intense. And that's important for setting the set design. What I'm doing here is I got the Nova on the lightning effect and I'm just pressing the trigger. I can also just press it on play and have it on intervals. And that's gonna sell when we're making the rain with the water and just squirting it up in the air. So the, you know, intense lightning effect because every time Godzilla is fighting, uh, there's always lightning. So who knows? I don't know. Gotta check with the forecast, but that's what happens. The last two lights that I'm using besides my key light are these Nanolite Pavo tubes and we set them to the colors like I talked about earlier. And then what we're doing is we just take in some spider wire. That's what I like to use instead of fishing line. It's just as strong, but it doesn't give a translucent, um, it doesn't shine. So it kind of blends in a little bit better and it's easier to tie. And we've tied all the boards up to a pole up there up to a C stand that we have. And that's what's keeping all the boards floating. I think it looks very cool because as these rocks are kind of shooting up in jaggedy, all three of them are standing and fighting because if they're laying down, then they're not technically Godzilla, King Kong and Mecha Godzilla, right? We got our hero shot right now. And all we're doing is pushing in and pulling out and getting a few shots of them all raining. Now we're gonna get some close ups, get some spinning shots, just make it very interesting and fun, some movement into it. And then doom, 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 and they're all fighting. Cool. Good. That's it for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you haven't checked out my product video course yet, the link is in the bio. I promise you it will help up level your skills so you can get hired by companies just like me. If you haven't liked, subscribed, or commented on this video, please do. And until next time.